Unfortunately, I've been a suspected terrorist and I've also been threatened with arrest. My initial reaction is to be absolutely straightforward, to say exactly what I'm doing. I'm here gardening, I'm a volunteer, look at the difference we're making. And almost always that works. Guerrilla gardening is gardening land that's not yours and doing it without asking whoever owns that land. I got into guerrilla gardening because I am a gardener. It's something I'd always done as a kid, it's something I turned to to relax and I was massively frustrated to see these ugly neglected flower beds. Um, my aim was to be the one who looked after them rather than just getting the job done. I wanted to be you know, the ones getting my hands dirty. Through the blogging and the, the, the touring and talking and writing that I do as a guerrilla gardener, um, I, I've seen that thousands of people have been inspired to go and do the same. The slogan I battle under is, let's fight the filth with forks and flowers. You can use spades and trousers as well, but they don't rhyme. My advice for people who want to create change is to go out and do it. If it's something you can physically do without others, start it off. Don't delay with a lot of discussions and meetings. Just start something and bring others along with you. Using community crowdfunding to grow your ambition and to enable other people to get involved with you who perhaps can't give the time. I'm Richard Reynolds and I'm a guerrilla gardener and I'm inspiring community change.